Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Behind us is the new Polo Life Package. We're gonna check in the detail, exterior interior details. If you wanna see more, there's gonna be Tygo, uh, also life and style package. So subscribe if you wanna see more and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. And without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Here's the new Polo and a life package. So this is the base model and it still looks very elegant. Uh, has a nice silver color. It's not very popular anymore, but I like it personally. Here is the physical key of the camera would like to focus. Unlock, lock, and unlock the cargo area. Grasshopper, physical key. But uh, you can of course spec a start stop button. Now, if we unlock the car, mirrors and fold. So we have now standard and life package folding mirrors. Uh, let's check the details if we come a little bit closer you can see the bottom bumper has golf like a little bit more aggressive design style have the air intake on the bottom top pretty large I'm not sure if the radiator will uh, have chance at against the stone chips uh, the badge is of course the radar uh, we have here the base led headlights so they have projectors these are your uh, daytime running lights also projectors uh, now LED bar uh, on the bottom you have also LED fog lights this is all uh, plastic no piano plastic in this generation at least not in the life package so I uh, just let go around the car a bit it looks very elegant reminds me of the Golf especially with the creases on the top and the bumper uh, Polo got uh, larger now Gonna check the spec on the end of the video here is the lane assist camera uh, light and rain sensor and i think they're supposed to be in the mirror but not in this model so uh all standard now now we have the new side mirrors in the polo and it has this short turn signal here still facing the driver have a physical blind spot a little bit different design but mostly the same have the Volkswagen signature in the B pillar uh, now we have interesting alloys I believe this is something like 16 actually this is correction 15 so these are 185 65 R 15 if I'm not mistaken have this closed alloy design for better aerodynamics drum brakes on the rear this is better for cost saving for the service in the future in the style package or the R line, you get uh, discs on the rear. Spoiler in color of the vehicle, have the little antenna on the top. And then the rear looks really um, fresh and larger. They have this uh, big lights now, and you can see the turn signals, little plastic diffuser, no more fake exhaust. So that's an improvement. So let's check the polo, you know, press the badge, push it on the top. So if you back up here, you can see the spacious uh, little hatchback, opens fairly tall. This is the fairly spacious cargo space, now even bigger. Seats knocked down 60-40, you have isofix on the top. On the side, on the right, you have the warm light. Uh, you have some tethered points over here, all four sides, grocery hooks. Same on the other side, you have a little area going down here. Five fingers of height. If you push this up, there's the stoppers. And then you can see extra space beneath. Have the patching kit with the, excuse me, uh, lifting kit with the spare tire back again. Um, I guess this is better than the patching kit. If that be comment below, what do you think? And you can knock this down, have extra space. So you get extra five fingers of height so all together ten fingers of height this is actually easy to put even with one hand although it's easier with two hands you can remove this shelf if you want to you can put an umbrella here a long umbrella it's very practical on the top you have emergency triangle and you close it manually on both ends i believe the license plates should be led and just to check your fuel cap here this is the 
recommend it run. This is the petrol. Have the smart feature so this doesn't scratch your clear coat. Now let's get on the rear. Check the space. Excellent closing and opening sound. We're used in Volkswagen seals going around. Double steeling. Looks good. Hard plastic. They kind of cheapen out on the rear in this generation to add some other features standard like safety features uh, we have automatic windows decent bottle area speaker on the bottom you can hear push to the side to lock from the inside for the kids if you have toddlers maybe or smaller children one year old and these are cloth seats nice in the winter nice and warm you can open here and then you can see this, you can see the rear. Uh, it's practical, you can lower this down, it slightly goes up, but you can actually fit longer objects. Now, I'm gonna hop inside. Uh, over here is screw for the roof racks, if you want to add those. Now, uh, I'm gonna leave the key on the front. And over here, you have two USB-Cs for fast charging. Have a little tall transmission tunnel so it wouldn't fit a third person on longer journeys. Feet room, plenty of feet room. This seat is in the lowest position and I was sitting in the front. Have nice pockets here. Let's hear the closing sound. Good, but it's kind of slight rattle to be honest. Um, the seats are nice going down and up as well. So very comfortable. Uh, Isofix, you don't have those covers you're gonna lose anymore. And you have a nice big tall window, even one in the C-pillar. Good overview on the rear. Have physical buttons for the lights, which are warm lights, not cold like on the Daigo. And headspace. For the two meter tall person, I'm kind of hitting. But if I was 190, or at least uh, in the average, I would have plenty of headspace. See, uh, excuse me, headrest is adjustable and there is no middle armrest. On the top, we have a hook on the B pillar, adjustable seat belt on the front, but for some reason they decided to remove the handles on the top. Really not sure why the saving Volkswagen, but type in the comments below what you think about these ideas. I mean, I'm really not sure, but I guess Volkswagen has their own calculations. So, decent opening and closing sound on the front as well. Seals are good, although there's no sealing here, only on the bottom. But there's this round seal on the inside. Uh, tire pressure, you can spec up to 18 inches, I think. At least that's what it says here. And on the front, hard plastic. This is flashes red when the car is locked. You have the lock unlock button from the inside. This is nice and robust. We have the automatic folding and heated mirrors now. So these features are now standard, then you get some, then you lose some <laughs> comfort features. Uh, I believe the mirror dips in the right, uh, or the right mirror dips when you're reversing. This is nice and soft cloth. It used to be on the back, but they've maybe added this standard and then ditched the <laughs> soft part on the rent end. Because in this kind of small car, mostly people are not sitting in the back. Spacious. Uh, bottle area you can put a one liter bottle there speaker base and then we have the uh, manual seats this is for up and down tilt for uh, tilt with a wheel excuse me no lumbar support you get them in the style the next package and over here you push this up to slide back and forward you can put a reflective vest in this area this is a manual uh, this is the light adjustment and put your lights on the automatic not to drive at night with your daytime running lights. Steering uh, column is manual. This is the top look in. Let's get inside. Close it up, switching to white lens. And there we go. This is the new, new refreshed Polo. Well, it's a new generation, but the dash is familiar from the previous model and a little bit redesigned now. Let's zoom back in. New steering wheel, you have a nice smooth leather, flat bottom. 
nice physical buttons uh in the style it's also physical and then in the r line you get touch capacitive buttons i personally prefer the, these physical buttons tell me in the comments what you prefer have here cruise control settings safety assist volume pages views for the digital cockpit and some options have this uh kind of different black piano with some details uh finish it looks fancy now the plastic on the top is soft and then continuing down it's um, so soft and hard plastic screen is on the top winter on the bottom so your eyes are closer to the road this is where the hazards are and you get the standard um, big screen uh, with physical knobs and some touch shortcuts on the sides uh, if you check the glove compartment slowly opening it's a nice touch and have your Volkswagen uh, service manual, uh, owner, owner's manual, uh, coins, business cards, SD card, control there, the airbag for the front, fairly spacious, no AC, and kind of looks nice, it's not that plain plastic, it just feels like a imitation of leather, in a plastic design, design, excuse me, on the bottom you have physical AC controls. This is because this is a manual AC. So this is for the fan speed. Uh, this is for the air blow direction. And then for the warm or cold, AC on, off, heater on the rear, close the air recirculation. In the style you would get touch buttons and they're capacitive. Over here have a rubber mat. It uh, doesn't have wireless charging, but it's a nice space for your phone, two USB-C for uh, connecting your media. This is for the parking card holder, auto start, stop off, and no parking sensors in this one. And you have fairly, uh, not too long gears, precise. Uh, this is a five speed manual because I think this is the one liter TSI with a maybe 95 or 110 horsepower. Uh, if you want to put it to reverse, bottoms first gear, and that's it. Uh, Take a look, no piano black here. I like this, just a little bit chrome, it looks elegant. Uh, nice leather on the manual handbrake. This is 2021 design, so in 2022, all the cars will have to have electronic parking brake, at least in the EU. Uh, 12 volt outlet, and I guess a smoker's package. Uh, although that's not really healthy, but it's a personal choice. And you have two cup holders in the little area there. Armrest is kind of soft. It extends, but it doesn't have levels. It's fairly spacious. If I lower the keys down, you can see uh, that. And it has a nice flint inside. And uh, let's just turn it on. So they were kind enough to let me film and finish because uh, the salon is just closing. Try to wrap it up here, but you can see here, this is the uh, digital cockpit. This is the base one. This is a layout. So you have a TFT screen in the middle. You have the fuel and temperature on the sides. And then you have the screen. You have different views. So you have this, this. So three views. This one, this one, and this one. In this one, you can change the sides. You can swipe through these. Uh, have different stuff and you can switch to settings. If you want to see this in more detail, uh, check my Tygo. And you can check this one and also scroll through these. So if you want to see that, I'm just trying to wrap it up because uh, the salesperson is waiting for me. Uh, so uh, screen, have the assists on the top, lane, distance, and the take a break. Think navigation is not purchased. Same as voice commands. Menu, so we have vehicle information, your fuel, TPMS, settings here. These are the classical. Uh, in the style, you would get ambient lights on the bottom, and this one you don't. I'm not going to go through this in details because I've covered Volkswagen infotainment in details. You have the swipe gestures now standard, and this is all uh, classic. So if you want to see this in depth, check one of my other Volkswagen cars. And uh, that's it. Um, I think I forgot to show you the top. So have a mirror that you can move physically. 
have the warm lights in Tygo, they're LED, have the nice glasses compartment, emergency buttons, also consistent warm light, privacy mirror, documents holder. I don't think this extends, so this area is kind of still shining, it doesn't extend. And you have a nice, nice overview. And for a two meter tall person, 6.6, .6, plenty of headrest, uh, excuse me, headspace on the top. Um, what do you think about this base screen? It's not so sharp, but it has decent graphics. It doesn't flicker on the screen, it has a good refresh rate. Now the lights are on, actually the key's on, so I'm gonna leave it inside for the lights. And we're gonna check the uh, front bonnet, wrap it up and show you the spec. So in the middle, above the batch, push it to the left. You have to use the little legs. So this is the three cylinder petrol engine. There's your washer fluid, the blue thing. And you have some insulation as well on the top. Now, before I show you the spec, here are the lights when they're on. So just check, check the spec. So Polo 1.0 TSI life package, 95 horsepower. Average consumption should be around 5.2 liters, five speed manual, and some extra options like the um, ready to discover, eight screen, eight inch touch screen. So I guess that's maybe not standard Apple. Uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, I forgot to show you, is uh, via USB-C. This is the price in Croatia, I'm gonna add in euros. And on the bottom, you can see it comes with a Goodyear tire specs. So just to show you the LED lights, and I'm gonna turn on the hazards as well. So lights on, let me just turn on the fogs as well. Show it to you all together. So there we go interesting signature you get a different signature in the style package that looks better uh, or on the R line you can check the R line spec on my channel and over here you have the fog light the other ones reverse light if we come to the front you can see the turn signal you can see the fog lights I believe they are cornering fog lights and then let me show you the position lights come to this end so those are your position lights so everyone thank you for watching uh, leave your comments below what you think about the new polo life package and uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year I'm gonna see you in the next one bye